Hi guys, this is Liz Kaneda from Sleek Lens. Today I have a tutorial from the Runway Fashion Workflow. I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the brushes that come with this workflow and how you can use them to kind of retouch skin and just overall add highlights, color, and tone. Um, this package comes with 22 brushes, so I have a photograph pulled up and I'm just going to go ahead and start. First thing I'm going to do is just zoom in a little bit because I'm just going to work on her face right now. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is, as you can see, her skin is a little bit red. So I'm going to open up my brushes, since we're going to be using our brushes today, and scroll down to my Runway Fashion brushes. And the first one I'm going to start with is the Fix Red Skin. And as you can see, I've got my brush right here. You can either make it bigger by pressing the bracket keys if you have a Mac computer, or you can slide down here and use the size slider. So I'm just going to basically run this all over her skin just to kind of get rid of some of that redness. It might be hard to see at first, but I'll show you the difference in a second. Um, basically what this brush is, is it has a little bit of a green tint and the green counteracts the red in her skin. So we're just going to slide it all over. If I put my mouse up here, I can basically see where I've highlighted everything. So I got pretty close. So, all right, so if I do this, let's see. All right, so after I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to kind of tweak my brush a little bit. I'm going to turn the exposure up just to brighten her skin a little bit. All right, so I'm going to close that out and I'm going to show you the difference real quick. So here's the before and the after. So we've just got kind of got rid of the red here and up in her forehead and just made her skin tone a little bit warmer and a little bit more even. The next brush I'm going to be using is the softened skin brush. So you always want to hit new in between brushes or else it'll apply the new effect to the previous brush. So hit new, go back to your runway fashion brushes, you're going to open the softened skin and again I'm just going to run that all over her skin. You don't have to be very precise with this. You can just kind of make sure you get the general areas here. And again, if you hold your mouse over here, you can see all the areas you've highlighted. The one thing I'm going to do is um, to control the kind of softness of this brush, you're going to go to your clarity here and you can just turn it up. As you see, it gets really clarified and if I go down it makes it softer so I'm just going to lift it up a little bit I'm going to actually do that twice so I'm going to hit new using the same brush I'm just going to go ahead and smooth her skin out just a little bit more alright the next thing I'm going to do is I'm not going to be using a brush exactly but I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the spot removal tool because she has a quite a few spots just on her face here. So you can also change the size of this using the bracket keys or the size slider on the right. You're going to highlight the spot you want to get rid of and then hit enter. And she's only got a few spots so I'm just going to do this in a few little areas here. You can even make the thing really small. See this little line here? You can actually drag it like that. And do that. All right, let's see if she has any on her forehead. Not necessarily, like a tiny one right here. All right, so I've used the spot tool to remove all of that. I'm going to scroll out a little bit. So the next brush I'm going to use is I'm actually going to be using a whiten brush. So back to my runway brushes. So as you can see right here, I have a whitened teeth brush, and I'm actually going to go show you a trick you can use with this. So if you select the whitened teeth brush, you can actually use this brush if you make it real small in the whites of her eyes to just kind of brighten them 
and make them a little bit whiter. Often models who have been at shoots all day long like this, they might have red eyes just because they're tired and they're wearing a lot of makeup and they've been working long hours. So you can use this to whiten teeth, but it also works to whiten eyes as well. So going back to my brushes, hitting new. I'm now going to go to the Enhance Eyes brush. So I'm going to click Enhance Eyes. And I'm going to go ahead and make my brush real small. And I'm just using this in the iris of her eye right here. And I'm going to show you a trick real quick. So what I can do is add color to it. So she's got brown eyes, so I'm going to kind of scroll this up here and add this orange color as a little bit of a highlight. Now I have the saturation on zero, but if I were to push it all the way up, you can see it gets really orange, and if I push it down, it's brown again. So orange, brown. We don't want it to look unnatural, so we're just going to push the saturation down a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and push the highlights up a little bit and the exposure up a little bit. So you can see what that brush looks like. The next brush I'm going to do is hitting new, back to my runway fashion brushes. I'm going to be using the Sharpen Face brush. And even though we just smoothed out her skin, I like to use the soften, I'm, I'm sorry, I like to use the Sharpen brush basically on the eyes to give them a little more definition and clarity, and the lips as well. Hitting new again. I'm going to be going to my brushes back again. And now I'm going to be using a dodge brush. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to use this dodge brush to highlight and contour her face. So I'm going to show you guys how to contour faces. So you want to make your brush just a little bit bigger. Right now you're going to put your exposure up pretty high. It seems right now like a lot to have the exposure up that high, but I'll show you. We're going to turn it down in a second, but Leaving it up this high is how I can actually see where I'm applying the highlight. So to contour face and apply highlights, you're going to want to highlight under the eye in a downwards triangle. I'm going to do that under both eyes. Okay, you want to highlight up the bridge of the nose. Same thing here, you're going to be kind of doing another upside down triangle for the forehead. You're going to make your brush a little bit smaller. You're going to put a highlight right in the cupid's bow here. And then a little bit on the chin. And just a slight highlight here. And that should be about it. Alright, so now that I've got the highlight done, and you can see where I've applied all the highlights, I'm just going to go ahead and turn the exposure down and make it appear to be a more natural highlight. All right. So now we're going to go and we're going to open a new brush. Hit new. We're going back to the runway brushes. And I'm going to be using the burn brush this time. So dodge is if you want to kind of add light. Burn is if you want to make something darker. I'm sorry. Dodge is if you want to make something lighter. Burning is making something darker. Scrolling down to my runway brushes. Instead of choosing dodge, I'm going to be choosing burn. And now I'm going to be using Burn to add dark contours to her face. So when it comes to dark contours, we're going to turn this down again so we can see where we have applied the contour. We're going to go along the cheekbone here, up on the temple, and up towards the hairline, kind of in a C motion like this. And back down here, up at the temple. And you kind of want to do it along the jawline here as well. Make your brush a little bit smaller. And you also want to do the inside of the nose here. So basically you're drawing lines from the inside of the nose. So you're going from the inside of the nose again up to the eyebrow here. And then again we're going to just take the exposure and push it up a little bit so that it's not really that dark of a contour. So, so far I've showed you how we've contoured her face, brightened her eyes, and kind of sharpened her eyes and lips. And now we're going to scroll out a little bit and I'm going to show you how to use a brush to define her hair. So hitting our brush again, we're going to hit new. Opening up the runway brushes. 
and we're going to be using the define hair. I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger, and I'm just going to be rubbing this all along our hair here, just running it all throughout. All right, so there's one last thing I want to do here. I want to try a new brush. I'm going to hit new. We're going to go back to our burn brush again. And what's a good thing to do is take your burn brush and just kind of fill in hairlines here. Turn it down a little bit. It just kind of makes the hair appear fuller when you just kind of fill the hairline in. All right, so we're going to finish this up here so I can show you the before and after. So here you can see the difference. We've smoothed her skin out, brightened her eyes, made her lip color a little bit brighter, and we've contoured her face. And we've also defined her hair and filled in her hairline. So let's... Right, and here you can see them side by side. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and move on to a different picture now. So I've got this picture here and I've already gone ahead and applied some presets to this, but we're gonna be doing just about the same thing here, just with slightly different options. So I'm gonna again scroll into our face a little bit. For this one, again, I'm going to be using the Whiten Teeth brush one more time. And again, I'm going to be using that same trick of using it right in here in the whites of her eyes. Okay, I'm going to hit New. And then after I've hit new, I'm going to go to the brighten eyes. And I'm just going to use that brush just kind of all over her eyes here. Even outside the edge here. I'm going to hit new again. Still working on the eyes, I'm going to be using the clarity and detail brush. So runway fashion, clarity and detail. And I'm going to be using that brush on her eyes as well, just to give a little bit of definition and on her lips as well, too. Hitting new, moving back to the softened skin brush. Just as we did before, just going to run this brush all around her face here. Her skin is already pretty good, so there's not much that needs to be done. So I'm just going to run this brush over here one time. Again, I'm going to use the spot removal tool just to remove these little spots right here. All right, so up here she's got a little bit of an overexposed spot. So I'm going to go back to my brushes, hit new, going down to the runway brushes again. There is a brush for Fix Overexpose, and I'm just going to use this in this little overexposed spot up here. And I'm going to show you again how to contour, but using different brushes this time. So last time we used the Dodge and Burn. This time we're going to be using different brushes. So going back to our runway brushes, we're going to be using the Brighten Highlights brush. And again, I'm going to just kind of turn the highlights up until so I can see it while I'm doing it. Make the brush a little smaller. Two inverted triangles under the eyes. Along the bridge of the nose. Inverted triangle on the forehead as well. Right on the cupid's bow and on the chin here. And then again turning the highlights down so it's not a really obvious highlight. Gonna hit new. Now I'm gonna be using the dark and shadows brush. All 
And again, I'm going to be using this to contour her face. So along the cheekbone and into a C shape, kind of get up here, along this cheekbone and along the jawline as well. And again, if I push the shadows down, you can see they get lighter and darker. So I just leave them where they are. I'm going to turn the exposure down just a little bit. All right, and what I did before, I'm going to do again. I'm going to use the light darken brush here, and I'm going to go ahead, turn the exposure down a little bit, and just use this to fill in her hairline as well. All right, so I'm done here. All right, so here's the before and after. You can definitely see the difference. We smoothed out her skin, brightened her eyes, contoured her face, and really made her lips pop a little bit. And so you can see how this kind of brush editing for faces can really help your fashion photography and just kind of give it a polished look. This picture on the right here, the after picture, looks more like something you'd see in a magazine as opposed to the before picture. So right now I'm going to move to a third picture and I'm going to show you actually how you can use these brushes on a model's entire body as opposed to just their face. So I've already applied some presets to this. I'm just going to go ahead and do a few quick edits here. Opening my brushes. I'm going to go down to my runway brushes. And I'm going to go to the softened skin. And again, I'm actually just going to run that brush over her entire body. Face included. I'm going to hit new. So instead of running the softened skin brush again, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using another brush that comes with this kit. And that's going to be called the porcelain skin brush. So the difference between the porcelain skin and the softened skin brush is that the porcelain skin doesn't soften as much but it also kind of lightens the color and just gives an even skin tone. So as you can see it's taking some of the red out and just evening her skin tone out altogether and just giving her that nice soft creamy skin and we're again going to use that all over her body here. Alright, I'm going to hit new. Again, I'm going to be using the Brighten Eyes brush one more time. Just quickly running that over her eyes here. And then even though you can use the brushes and they're already preset right here, you can actually go ahead and modify the brushes as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn the exposure up just a little, little bit. Okay, now we're going to be using our burn brush again. And instead of showing you how to contour on the face, I'm going to show you how to contour on the body real quick. So opening up the burn brush, I'm going to move down to her abdomen and as you can see she's already got some natural definition right here. We're just going to go ahead and fake a little bit of definition on this side. And just burn this in a little bit more. And what I'm going to do is just turn this up a little bit. And I'm going to use this burn here. And I'm also going to be using the burn tool along her decollage here. There we go. Just to kind of give a little bit more definition. All right, and the last tool I'm going to be using is the sharpen. So I'm going to be using a sharpen face. 
and just again running that all over her face here just to really bring out some definition and into her wet hair as well. All right, so here's the before and after. So you can see how we've kind of smoothed the skin and given the skin a more even tone and just kind of added a little bit of definition into her body here and just overall change the picture. So if you have a lot of fashion photography or even portrait photography and you're really looking to kind of get that more polished look, brushes are definitely the way to go. They can help you get uh, make local adjustments uh, that you can't always make with the preset. The preset will apply it to the entire photograph, but the brushes allow you to work with small areas. So here's the before and after. And again, I'm just going to show you the before and after for these as well. And if you look, you can really see the difference in the face here. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on the runway fashion workflow and how to use the brushes. And I hope you can try it out for yourself soon.